Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy, Joey Does Tech, and welcome back to a brand new video. We now continue our journey of trying to fix things by trying to fix a mouse. I have taken a mouse apart before, and you can see that from clicking in the card in the top right-hand corner of this video. However, that was just to give it a clean and not to actually repair something that was broken with it. Well, let me tell you something. Today's a little bit different. My friend has a SteelSeries Sensei mouse where the right click doesn't click properly. I'm unaware of how long he's had it for, but I'm assuming it's just gonna be a case of taking it apart, giving it a clean, putting it back together and testing it. The first thing we're gonna do is head over to a website that allows us to test the functionality of the mouse. This is my mouse, okay? This is the one, this is my one, my personal one that I've got plugged in currently. Um, I'm just gonna show you what it should look like. So every time I'm hitting the clicks, you can see on the screen that the blue on this website lights up and you can hear it, it goes along with the clicks quite nicely. If I take my friend's mouse and do the exact same thing, the sensitivity on, on his is a joke, by the way. As you can see, the clicks are sometimes there. I'd say it's probably less than a 50% success rate. So my theory behind all this madness is a simple case of let's take it apart, give it a clean and see if it works. So let's do just that. So, well, I guess the first job would be to actually remove the USB from my PC to stop it from jiggling about. Okay, so this same friend also wanted me once to record how long this something like this would take me. So in his honor, we're gonna start that off. So let's begin. I guess it gives you guys definitely like more of a more of a true insight of, of how long it takes somebody with no experience to try and fix something. So what we're gonna start off with is uh, taking off the little rubber pads. These will reveal some screws and I hope, hope they're gonna be Phillips screws. Now what we should be able to do is pop, oh, okay, yeah, it just fell off really, really quick. And as you can see, we have the inside of a mouse. We do actually just need to remove this little cable here. Okay, so here we have the inside of the mouse and this is where the clickers are. So I'm gonna have a quick look and see if I can identify any issues with them straight away. Nothing jumps out at me straight away. This is the um, this is obviously the other the other parts of the mouse. Now, the only thing that I can see is that at the top here, we have like some white bits. On where the buttons are so i don't know maybe if that's if that's affecting the clickability is what we're going to go with i like that word a lot Okay, so that should all be good now, I think. Oh, cool fact, okay, so I've just taken this out and this is for the side buttons. How cool is that? Completely different to the Naga mouse that I took apart and cleaned the other day, that's wicked.
to the mouse test. Just to make sure both the clicks actually work. Good, okay, fine. So both the clicks work, that's a good thing. How's the right click, how's the left click first? Left click is good. How's the, how's the mouse wheel? Mouse wheel's good. How's the right click? I mean, that definitely feels a lot better. Again, yeah, amazing, sweet, okay, okay. I think we can say that that is, that is a successful fix on the channel, guys. I think that we can say that's a successful, a successful fi fix. I wanna try that again. Just make sure it's not catching me off guard. Okay, yeah, wicked, okay, brilliant, sweet. So in total, that took us, we're stopping now, 32 minutes, which is, I think, way longer than what, you know, what, what it should take. But it's essentially just taking off a couple of the fillet screws on your on your mouse, getting getting hold of some cleaning product and, and giving it a little bit of a clean inside. We have a success, that's wicked, I'm so happy. It's the small things guys, it's the small things in life that make you happy. If you have enjoyed watching the video, make sure to thumbs it up, subscribe if you want to see more content from myself, and I will catch you in the future. See you later.